What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and we are finally here with the finals. That's right, this is the final round of the playoffs for the Indigo League of Legends against U-Turn Crobat. Uh, once again, a little bit of a rematch here. This video will be in the same playlist if you would like to see the battle that we had earlier in the season. Of course, I did manage to eke out a victory in that battle, but of course U-Turn is going to be back with a vengeance here. I mixed up my team just a little bit. I traded out Mega Caesar, the especially defensive one that I brought last time, for Mega Manectric. Uh, I also have Ambi Palm still. Still went with the Scarf Latios, and I have Blaziken and Whimsicott and Drapion instead of carrying, um, I believe I had Spiritomb last time. Uh, Mega Metagross and Landorus are still going to be huge hurdles to overcome, but with a little bit of careful playing around them, I should be able to do okay. Uh, I did put Foul Play on Amipom last time I had Knockoff. Foul Play is definitely the superior move to hit Mega Metagross with, because with Foul Play damage, I can take him out with the follow-up Fake Out just by switching Amipom out if I hit him with Foul Play as he uses Rock Polish, assuming he's running an Adamant Nature. Um, so at, at right from the start, I am hugely disadvantaged here. I figured he would go straight for Earth Power because Drapion likes to stay in and set up the toxic spikes there. He surprises me with U-Turn, which gives me the huge red flag that he is probably Scarfed because you don't really see U-Turn on non-Scarfed Lando. Uh, as he goes out into Raikou, this is actually okay. The reason I decided to bring Whimsicott this time is that if needed, I could use Stun Spore on a, on a possible Choice Scarf Landorus. I could also use Stun Spore on a uh, Metagross before it gets the uh, rock polish off. So I had that little bit of insurance in the back. Now I figured he would Volt Switch right here because the Hidden Power I seemed pretty obvious. Um, he could also Shadow Ball if he was trying to hit Latios on the switch, but he actually has Hidden Power Ice, which surprised me. So now I'm going to go out into Drapion here, since now we know he doesn't have Hidden Power Ground or anything weird. Aura Sphere or Thunderbolt might be the best thing he could hit me with at this point. Seeing the damage from this Volt Switch, holy crap, that means he might actually have the magnet item which increases the power of electric moves by 20% because I did a lot of damage. Just went for knockoff expecting a switch. I was very tempted to set up toxic spikes just because they were down several of his teammates so nicely. I go for poison job on melodic and I actually get poison which isn't great. I would much prefer to have toxic spikes and get him toxic. I wasn't sure what he would go for but I was fearing the ice type move which is why I didn't switch right on the Latios. Uh, granted he could have gone for scald and burned me but I was just risking that. Um, just to be able to wear down Raikou and some of his other teammates a little bit better, I went ahead and went for Toxic Spikes, expecting him to go for maybe Dragon Tail, expecting a switch. And that works out because he goes for Recover. Uh, after our Recovery items and Poison, if I hit him with another attack here, he'll be at around the same level of HP. I go for a Taunt here, expecting him to Recover or try to go for maybe some type of status move. He just goes right for Scald. Which sucks here. I really should have gone for Taunt the turn earlier and prevented him from recovering, but I thought he would use Dragon Tail. Uh, that is not too bad though, because I get a free switch out into my uh, Mega Manectric. I get the chance to go ahead and go for my Mega Evolution, and if he decides to switch in Landorus, then um, it puts me in a position where I do have to do a 50 50 as to whether he'll U turn or Earth Power. But I'm okay with that 50-50. The nicer thing is that I have Hidden Power Ice on this Mega Manectric, so I can hit Landorus very hard if I need to. I did just go for Thunderbolt here. I knew if he switched to Raikou between getting uh, poisoned, the Thunderbolt damage, and then taking a Volt Switch on the way out, he would be well below half HP at the end of the turn, on the next turn. So I didn't feel like I was risking too much by going for Thunderbolt like that. I do get a free switch out into my Whimsicott once again. If he wants to go for Hidden Power Ice, that's great because then I'll get a free switch into Latios uh, and then I can outspeed him. If he wants to go for Volt Switch, then hopefully I can uh, Stun Spore whatever he brings in. And this is great because now I can use Stun Spore on Landorus, which is one of the two targets that I really wanted to check in this battle. Unfortunately, I miss Stun Spore as he smacks me with the Sludge Wave and that's definitely going to KO my physically defensive Whimsicott, which is unfortunate. Uh, it would have been nice to negate his Choice Scarf, um, but that didn't end up happening. So I'm going to go out into Ambipom here, threaten him with Fake Out. I figured that he would switch out because Sludge Wave is the move he's locked into. But at the same token, I don't really lose anything by going for Fake Out. And I am able to take out Raikou on a solid hit because of all that residual damage it took before. 
Uh, this gives him a solid switch into Metagross, and I was like, yes, this is what I expected. Something to go down, Metagross switch into Ambipom. I can go for foul play, bring him down to right around 10, 15%, and then finish him off with the fake out later. Unfortunately, it looks like he's running um, some sort of mix set because that does not do as much damage as I thought it would. Uh, he definitely doesn't have max attack at the very least. So that, that my whole game plan here gets a, a little thrown off. I got into my, um, my Nectric here expecting the Meteor Mash. I figured I could intimidate him, then switch out into Latios as uh, he goes for Earthquake. But he gets this, the attack boost, so that means that I the Intimidate was completely pointless. I took damage for no reason, and that really hurts my ability to wear down this Metagross. Um, here I was hoping he didn't have Ice Punch, but he actually does, which sucks. Um, I had a decent chance to survive. Well, not a decent chance. It was kind of a 50-50 if I would survive a neutral attack, tough claw, uh, meteor mash. Uh, one fake out. Okay, we're good. If I could switch out here, go out into... And I was really expecting Earthquake here because the switch into Manectra was so obvious. I decided to stay in there. If I had gone into Manectra, I would have at least gotten the Intimidate. Um... Okay, maybe he doesn't have max speed investment and I can outspeed him at plus one with my uh, Blaziken here. So I'm gonna get speed boost. I did not wanna go for the 50-50 on whether or not I would get the second protect. So I just went straight for the attack and I don't outspeed him, which that sucks. And guys, as you can probably guess at this point, this is kind of a snack wrap here because he will outspeed my Manectric with Earthquake and that's going to be the battle. So once again, the I, I made it to finals in the Indigo League of Legends and then end up falling in finals. Uh, not not really the way that I wanted that battle to go down. I did miss stun sport, but outside of that, that was a pretty clean, straightforward battle. Um, overall, I did enjoy the season, though. I think I only lost twice during the main season. So that's a pretty good record overall. I was very pleased with that overall record. Uh, moving into Season 3, of course, I'm probably going to switch up my playstyle a good bit. Running these hyper-offensive, volt-turning teams is not really my playstyle. I tend to prefer a more balanced playstyle. So I will be returning to that. It's been nice to get to dabble in a few other playstyles. Uh, but we'll be returning for Season 3 with the Venus Venusaur and seeing what we can do for next time. So thanks for very much for, for watching my battle videos this season. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, definitely look forward to seeing some of you guys participate in leagues as well. So if you guys are participating in any leagues, feel free to leave those in the comments so I can check them out. Uh, or if you'd like to see me try my hand in a league that you're participating in, depending on my time schedule, I would like to at least check out the league if not promote it if it's, if it's doing some good things. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in Season 3 of the Indigo League of Legends. See you later. Bye.